Before we go on to the next news, I'd like to read that super chat from Angel Rose. Oh, yes, we really Angel. do depend. Yes. What's that? Okay, no, go on. Sorry. We do depend. Yeah. Yes, we really do depend on our super chats and, and things like that, especially with all of our uh, grown up words that we use on the way YouTube treats us. So Angel Rose says, why care about what you are, left wing or right wing? Aren't we still people that should take time to discuss our views? Love you guys, by the way. Thank you so much, uh, Angel Rose. And I completely agree with that statement. No matter what our views are, we should be able to sit down and discuss them. Yeah, and actually, I want to highlight um, Elliot's comment. We do really rely on your donations to continue doing what you're doing. So thank you, Angel, for the super chat. And for other people that want to support us, the link for supporting us is in the description. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for that, Angel. We, we, we do need it. But okay, yeah, next news. And next news is out of Ottawa, Canada. Atheism is not a religion. Court fines and denying group charitable status. Yes, yeah, so this uh, Church of Atheism... Uh, tried to appeal for uh, tax-free credit, and they were denied by the Federal Court of Appeal, um, which upheld the Minister of National Revenue's refusal to register the Church of Atheism um, as a charity, saying that the not-for-profit cop corporation fails to meet a set of common law guidelines. Um, it did not demonstrate that, it's, that it has a belief system. Um, that is based on a particular and comprehensive system of doctrine and observances. So uh, how do you feel about that? Because I kind of agree. I don't think I that the Church the of Atheism should be a church. Yeah, I agree with the court. And I'm happy that now we have it an official government document that atheism is not about any central doctrine and that it is not a religion. We have it. Right. We have it now <laughs> officially approved by a government that atheism is. So we used to make jokes about oh, atheism is, not, is like a religion, just like. I don't know, off is a TV channel and all that joke, which is funny and stuff. But now, now we have it on paper, <laughs> so it's great. So I think I think it's great. It's great news. Yeah, but again, you don't. Um, I don't understand why this Church of Atheism. Why did if they want to be a charity, you don't need to be a religion. You could just be a charity. Why did they need to act like they're a religion? What was the purpose of that? Well, I mean, and I, I question that as well. And I know that here in the United States, uh, you know, different charities hold different uh, degrees of what they need to release to the IRS and what they don't have to release from the IRS. So, for instance, we're a charity, right? We're yeah. a 501c3. The Atheist Republic is a charity in the United States. Yeah, yeah so That's and correct. We, we didn't have to claim that we we're a religion. Yeah. Right. Uh, now, if we did want to claim that we were religion, then we would have even more special um, mm. rights given privilege. to us. Yeah. So I don't know if it's the same way in Canada or not. Uh, in all honesty, if you're not if you're not a a church, um, you know, trying to go for that is isn't really a, an intelligent thing to do, in my opinion, um, because it really doesn't give you that much more. And if, if you really are, if what you're doing is wanting to be a charity to give to the people, uh, they really do give you what you need to be a charity and use your money for good. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like I said, I'm happy that they yeah. did determine that they were not a church. And they did they did try to say that they had. Um, a, a sacred text, their Ten Commandments of Energy. Uh, it just makes yeah. you cringe. It's kind of yeah. cringy. Uh, so. I, need, I need to go take a shower. No, but this is this was weird, and I this would if they had won this, this would have hurt us, right? Because absolutely, because a lot of people are like, oh, atheism is a religion. Atheism is a religion. And I'm like, no, it's not. Uh, and th if these people were successful, people were like, see. Even it's not recognized as a religion, and we don't want that to, you know. If you want to challenge religious privilege in in every country by by, you know, having made up, you know, religions, made up religions or satire religions that goes ask for this privilege, and this, then they have to get it because then use that with like the church, you know, the uh, says the satanic temple or with the flying spaghetti monster. Right or with the Church of you know, Jedi or whatever the uh, church is called, right? Um, mm -hmm. Those are good either you know satirical religions that people could actually go show a set of doctrines and then prove prove that they're a religion and then go ask for all those religious privileges that ch charities get and stuff just to make a point of how ridiculous these privileges are. Don't do that with atheism. That that's why we have those made up religions. To, to make that point, right? Th that's the purpose right. of those maybe, uh, religions. So yeah, I'm glad that this doesn't work. By the way, every time somebody, a religious person says that, 
oh, atheism is just a religion, before you correct them that it's not, first of all, tell them like, okay, so you admit that it's a bad thing to be a religion. Like, can we agree on that? Like, <laughs> if, if, that's a, if that's your attack on atheism, like, oh, atheism is a religion. Like, okay, so that's your insult on atheism. So we agree that religion is bad, right? Uh, <laughs> Let me see what the top comment is. Blair is saying, as an atheist, I absolutely agree with this conclusion. Atheism is not a religion, nor should it be confused for one. Uh, let me just clarify something. Atheism, um, not only is not a religion, it doesn't have any central doctrines, it doesn't have any set of value system, it's just a lack of belief in God, right? But that doesn't mean that your group, like, is not about certain values. Like, for example, if you say, hey, I'm going to make a local atheist book club, right? So now your atheist book club is not just about atheism anymore. It's about atheism and people that who like reading books. That doesn't mean atheism by itself has anything to do with reading books. Atheism is just lack of belief in God. But your group now is something else. Like another example I could say, if I say, if you make a group that says, Americans against racism, if you make a group that is called Americans against racism, that you're not changing the definition of what it means to be an American. You're not saying every American is against racism, all right? Or if you're racist, you're not an American. You're not changing the definition of what it means to be an American. That's just your group. Your group is the Americans against racism. People in your group are against racism, right? So if you make like a group like Atheist Republic, Right? And you say Atheist Republic stands for these values, is against religion, it supports these values, is against those values, right? So you're like, oh my god, what's happening? Atheist, Atheist Republic is changing the definition of what it means to be an atheist. No, atheism is still nothing but a lack of belief in God. Atheist Republic is about atheism and a certain things that we stand for and a certain other things that we stand against. That's just Atheist Republic. Atheist Republic never claims to stand for atheists, to stand for all atheists, to represent atheists, to represent atheism. Atheist Republic only represents Atheist Republic and its members. That's all that Atheist Republic represents, right? So just because right. atheism is a uniting factor in the people that are in part of atheism, uh, part of Atheist Republic, it doesn't mean it's the only uniting factor, right? It's one of the main uniting factors, but it's not the only one. Again, we're not trying to change the definition of atheism. We only, what the, def the things that we stand for is only for Atheist Republic, not for atheism as a whole, right? Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.